The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by High Stick NT, Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans, and Pride Seeds. This year we found a new soybean disease in Ontario called soybean vein necrosis virus. It was first detected in 2008 in the Tennessee area. Since then it expanded to the southern U.S., into the Midwest, and most recently over the past couple of years we've seen it in the Great Lakes states, you know, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois as well, so it wasn't surprising that we saw it in Ontario. It is one though that now that it's here, it will be here for the long haul, so it'll be part of our scouting procedures from 2013 and on. So what should we be looking for with this disease? Symptoms of soybean vein necrosis virus often begin as chlorotic light green to yellow patches near the main veins which may enlarge eventually becoming darker brown or necrotic. The veins may appear clear, yellow or dark brown in color. The browning of the veins may be especially noticeable on the lower leaf surf surface but this may not always occur. Sunlight is always helpful to uh, highlight symptoms of diseases, particularly foliar diseases on leaves. In this particular image, you can see how sunlight has really extenuated the yellowing that are associated with both the veins and the, the lesion area between the veins. As I mentioned earlier, later symptoms of soybean vein necrosis go from that initial yellowing to light green color to a darker purple or red color. Again, these blotchy areas often will have a yellowing or clear zone associated with those veins. So what does soybean vein necrosis virus mean for Ontario? For this year, nothing. Very little impact, came in late for, for 2013 and beyond. We, there's still a lot that we have to learn about this disease. We know it's vectored by thrips. How much and what impact? thrips have in vectoring it? That's one of the questions. One of the other important questions that we're going to be looking at in the future is can it be seed transmitted? That's an important thing. Can we move it from field to field by seed? Hopefully, based on what we know of this virus group, probably minimal impact in terms of moving this disease from seed to seed. That's important component. So Omafra in 2013 and that, working with the Grain Farmers Ontario and the seed industry and others, will be evaluating, scouting for soybean vein necrosis virus and seeing a, the distribution of it and also looking at the overall impact and assessing its overall impact and risk for the future. Thank you.